What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more mono green trying. Got the die roll. We are kind of in between the rule change right now. So the rule change won't be implemented until I believe it's Thursday or Friday, but the 4th. So we're just kind of coaxing out with this league here. I uh, don't have a companion in this build. We're going to mulligan this because there's no way to get Tron. And we'll keep that. Our opponent did not declare a companion, but we have an extra Tron land, so I want to pitch that. I have a feeling he's probably... Eh, no, it's, I can't make a guess at this point. I just know he's not Burn, because Burn would still be running Luris. Uh, but we'll start off with a power plant into a chromatic star and get our first hint what our opponent is playing. Basic Forest. Amulet of Vigor. Amulet Titan. That was easy. Alright, well we have a decent hand for that. Turn 3 Tron on the play. Um, into a potential turn 4 Ugin. We just need to find another land. Between now and then. Alright, I think I can make that work. We'll grab a tower here. We'll go Worm Coil Engine into Expedition Map next turn. And then we should be able to use the Expedition Map to get another tower to play out the Ugin. Which will get rid of the potential... Yep. Don't know why I didn't tap the forest first, but... Oh, well, that works. Alright. More mana, more lands. Let's see what he can do with it. Wouldn't mind a Karn here, though. That is not a Karn. Alright, well. Worm Coil Engine. And Expedition Map. At the very least, the Worm Coil will keep us alive. He can probably get out his Primeval Titan this turn. And can probably attack with it. Ooh, but if he gets a Ghost Quarter, that will be a bit of an issue. We'd have to top deck the Missing Tron Land at that point. Well, we have an Expedition Map out, but... Eh, doubtful he would wait till my upkeep to use it. Yep. Generate a bunch of mana. Well, all right then. Yep, there's a liquid metal coating. And we now need to really top deck a land. Yep. Um, yeah, no, we're, um, not in a good spot here. And then he starts eating lands next turn. That is great. We 
The good news is he needs to play a creature, which I think he isn't the most set up to do right now. So he's got to find a way to protect the Karn. Or, if, or he could just be going for Destroy My Lands. Yep. He's still got to get a creature out here. Alright, lucky draw on my part. Yep, we attack the Congregate Creator. He doesn't have another combat trick. We are decently set up. And we'll go for a draw here, see if we can get anything playable. Alright, well that guarantees us um, likely Tron next turn. So we will be good with that. This time we'll leave up mana to crack the expedition map in case he does have another combat trick up his sleeve. He should have enough mana to play the Titan, but we're pretty set up for that. I think he would have done better um, instead of trying to take me off Tron. Now granted, had I not drawn a tower, we still wouldn't have been in the best spot, but he would have done better to get in Snaring Bridge there. Oh, and there's another Karn. All right, well, that makes this a little more tricky. We'll go ahead and get another tower. It gives us a 50-50 shot. He's not going to hit the right land. All right, he hits one we can work with. Ooh, that is very nice. Well, we'll go for the combat first. Attack the Congregate Creator. Play the mine. We're at 38 life. I don't really fear him swinging in with... Eh. He's wasted two cards at this point. Yeah, we'll take the liquid metal coating off of its hands. He could still get a ghost quarter at this point, but I have answers to that. And Karn's a little bit threatening at this point. He's still at 20 life, but I think we're definitely starting to pull ahead. Of course, if he has third Congregate Creator, he can still get that back and shut us down a land, but it's the same situation. Here he should be going for Primeval Titan if he has it. Okay, he's getting a transmuting a Talaria West, yep. Is he setting himself up for next turn? Ooh, very good draw. He's, yep, he's just going to scoop to that. That was going to be a hard comeback for him, but it was not. this is not an easy matchup for us, especially if he's running the Karns. So what do we want? 
Oblivion Zone is good. Um, Nature's Claims come in for this one. Drag Tusk to up our creature count. We'll pull out one of the Hex Drinkers. I'm not sure I'm the biggest on the Dismembers. Yeah, I guess they get rid of the early stuff, so we'll take in the Dismember, pull out the other Hex Drinker, and we'll pull out the Relics. This will be the rough matchup. Tron in hand, plus a way to go search for stuff. We will keep that. I believe the plan will be to go mine Chromatic Star here. Uh, because that gives us the extra draw as opposed to the expedition map. Alright, there's a cabin of souls. Naming human, interesting. And an amulet. Fun, fun. All right, well, that is Tron in hand, so we are definitely going for Chromatic Star into the Ancient Stirrings next turn. Unless we get lucky enough to draw a Nature's Claim. That would be fairly good. Yep, uh, going to be the Dryad, I think. Yep. And do it again. Or not. Crack it for green. Draw. Ooh, very nice. Ancient stirrings. We'll take a turn three Karn Liberated. Of course, that does fairly obviously give away the fact we have this. And they can play their Karn next turn, which will not be good for us. Yep, swing two. Although they are at three cards and we know one of them is a land, they may have just whiffed here. Yeah, this is looking a little bit like they whiffed. I'll take their creature. And that puts them in a bit of a rough spot. All right, they were, yeah, they whiffed. They were pretty much just hoping we didn't have a uh, the tower in hand when we grabbed the Karn Liberated and then played the Expedition map. But uh, we got a little lucky there. Uh, that is not usually a good matchup for Tron just because Karn Great Creator shuts us down and they can ramp him out. But also Primeval Titan shuts us down pretty hard because he just swings in for a bunch of damage and we really don't interact with it beyond that. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Um, trying to come up with a deck list to run in the post-companion meta. If anyone's got any ideas, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I got my own ideas. I'm definitely, I'm thinking Jagantha is probably not going to be worth running. I mean, it's still, it's almost free, but that extra three means he's never going to be a turn three play. So yeah, let me, again, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Tectonic Edge, signing out.